but by chance. Raised in Western Samoa, Sonny left the island paradise at the age of 17 and returned to New Zealand in hopes of pursuing a career in boxing. A shoulder injury put boxing on hold, and he decided to rehabilitate the injury through weight training rather than surgery. Within five months, Sonny had impressed those around him so much that they pushed him into doing his first contest. In 1982, Sonny moved to Australia, where he won the Mr. Gold Coast middleweight and overall title. He had no knowledge of proper training or nutritional supplementation, and only continued competing at the urging of gym members. Sonny decided to take a chance in the sport, and in 1985, quit his job to pursue bodybuilding full-time. Sonny would make the transition from amateur to professional status by representing Australia in the 1989 Grand Prix, placing seventh against some of bodybuilding's top professionals. With the wheels of success rolling beneath him, Sonny decided to travel to America, where the real action was to be found. After a tornado-like amateur winning streak in Australia, Sonny Smith decided to move to America to pursue his dream of becoming a professional bodybuilder. I think in uh, America is still uh, a hard place, but uh, it's better than any other country. I think it's a place that anyone can point forward and much faster than any country. The man of white 5 foot 9 inch Smith competed in five professional shows in his first year, each time leaving an impressive mark upon both judges and competitors. By his second place achievements at the San Jose, Niagara Falls, and New York Pro shows, Smith would fulfill his friend's prediction by qualifying for the 1991 Mr. Olympia in Orlando, Florida. Since his first contest in 1981, Sonny had added nearly 60 pounds of muscle. While being in his most impeccable condition to date, one thing hadn't changed. His self-confidence still did not appear to match the strength of his physique. I look at those boys, man. You know, they from different countries, the best in the world. So, it might sound too, but it's even nervous, you know. So, we'll see what happens. When the results were announced, Smith landed a sixth place show. Quite an amazing feat for a first time Olympia contender. And for someone who once believed he had no future in bodybuilding. You feel really kind but not quite because they are just in the world, you know. This is my first Olympia, and I'm really excited about it. Clearly, it is this way of thinking that has awarded Sonny another successful year in 1992, with an impressive third-place finish at the Arnold Classic, the largest pro event besides the Olympia. Sonny proved that he was ready to storm the stage in Helsinki and demonstrate to the judges and audiences why he is known as the thunder from down under.